friends today is a most interesting topic and that is the topic of uh, facial nerve it is from paper first anatomy now what we are doing the expressions of our face all these expressions are the laughing or crying angry expressions all these expressions are due to the facial nerve this is one thing second thing facial nerve work to stimulate the lacrimal gland number third facial nerve is a nerve for two salivary glands submandibular and sublingual and number fourth the pain touch and temperature are also responsible the facial nerve is conducting the pain touch and temperature sensations also means there are four functions of facial nerve one function is motor function second function is taste third function is salivation lacrimation and fourth function is pain touch temperature for all these different functions facial nerve has different nuclei now let me proceed with my uh, i think so you are remembering the section of uh, brain stem i drawn in mcq the video of mcq that section means i am dividing the brain stem into three parts first upper one is mid brain middle one is pons and lower one is medulla now in the upper part we are writing 3 and 4 in the middle part we are writing 5 6 7 and 8 and in the lower part we are writing 9 10 11 12 12 so we are considering about the middle part and in the middle part you are getting there 5 6 7 8 7 7 8 is the facial nerve from that figure we confirm that facial nerve is taking origin from pons and now look the look there 7 is at the downward position so it is taking origin from a junction of middle and pons that facial nerve nuclei by the side of that there is one more nuclei that is a nucleus of sixth cranial nerve facial nerve and sixth cranial nerve nuclei that is a distal nuclei they are lying side by side now as the facial nerve is for the expressions for the acting and for all these things so since beginning till the end the nerve is doing since beginning till the end the nerve is doing same things as per the mood the nerve is moving at the origin nerve is taking origin the main motor fibers of the nerve are taking origin from the motor nucleus of the facial nerve rather going straight rather going straight the nerve fibers they are going posteriorly then coming up then taking round round the nucleus of sixth nerve that is abducens nerve and then passing out of the pons at ponto cerebellar junction at the ponto cerebellar junction the fibers are passing out see the beginning it is like a drama then the nerve fibers they are passing now these fibers are entering in the internal opostic meatus like this this is external opostic meatus in the same sense in behind the middle layer medial to the middle layer there is a meatus and there is a canal the fibers they are entering in the internal opostic meatus this is one motor fibers now second fiber those fibers are for lacrimation and salivation so the nuclear for this fiber is superior salivary nuclei i am little surprised why it is called as superior salivary nuclei because the nuclei is having two functions one is lacrimation and one is salivation so we can uh, term the name to the nuclei that is lacrimo salivary nuclei i think so this uh, could be the proper but why it was told superior salivary but let it superior salivary nuclei give origin to the fibers which are concerned with the 
which are concerned with the salivation and lacrimation. Number third, taste. And in MCQ video, we are knowing that nucleus tractus solitus, NTS, tech N for 9th cranial nerve, tech T for 10th cranial nerve, and tech S for 7th cranial nerve. Means this nucleus tractus solitus give fibers to these three nerves. One is 7th cranial nerve, one is 9th cranial nerve, and one is 10th cranial nerve. And all these three nerves are concerned with the test. Among all these three, facial is concerned with anterior two-third of the tongue. Facial is concerned with anterior two-third of the two-third of the tongue, then glossopharyngeal for posterior one-third and the vagus for last part of the tongue. So from nucleus tractus solitus, the fibers again running with the motor fibers, and they are also entering in the they are also entering in the internal opposite canal. Now, while passing through the canal, they are reaching, they are reaching at the medial border, upper part of the medial border of middle ear. Are you, are you getting upper part of the medial border of the middle ear? And we are knowing middle ear is having six borders. Six, uh, one is roof, second one is floor, third one is anterior, fourth one is posterior, fifth one is medial and sixth one is lateral border. So the nerve fibers, they are reaching up to the, this is middle ear and this is medial border. They are reaching up to the medial border. At the medial border, at the end, upper anterior end, upper anterior end of the medial border, the nerve fibers they are reaching and at that point, the fibers are taking sudden background turn. Again the drama. At the beginning, round. Then here, sudden background turn. The fibers are taking sudden background turn and they are passing at the upper border. Upper border of the middle wall. They are passing through the upper border of the middle middle. And there is a special canal. For whom the canal is? For the facial nerve. So what could be the name of canal? facial canal. So the fibers they are passing, they are reaching at the end of medial wall. Now this is medial wall and this is posterior wall. The fibers are reaching at the end of medial wall and now they are touching the posterior wall. Means they are entering to the posterior wall and now at the posterior wall again the fiber descend down. This is the course of fibers first at the medial. Now this is posterior, the fibers are descending down. Descending down through the canal, the fibers are descending down and they are reaching ultimately at the stylo-mastoid foramina. At the time stylo-mastoid foramina. So this is now third about the pain touch temperature. We know the main nerve for the pain is trigemine, trigeminal nerve. And there is a nuclei, spinal nucleus of this trigeminal nerve. The fibers of pen touch temperature, they are reaching to the fibers of trigeminal nerve nuclei. So this is how the different nuclei, they are giving origin to the different fibers. And the facial nerve having its S separate course. At the beginning, it is taking round, then it is entering in the internal acoustic, through the internal acoustic matters in the canon, then at the ganglion. It is taking sudden turn toward the backside, and that ganglion is called as whenever there is a structure like this, like this, this is called as geniculate. So that ganglion is geniculate ganglion. The nerve turn, turn backward, passing through the medial wall, in passing at the medial wall through the canal, then descend down, passing at the posterior, and leaving the skull through. Stylo mastoid foramen, the foramen between styloid process and mastoid process. Now, here again, one drama is there. Then the nerve is taking certain turn towards anterior aspect, entering in the parotid gland, entering in the parotid gland, and at the middle center of the parotid gland, it is divided into five terminal branches. It is divided into five terminal branches. 
one branch going to this bone what is the name of this bone temporal so this is the temporal branch second branch is going in here what is the name of this bone zygomatic so it is the zygomatic branch third branch is going here going here it is mouth buccal so third branch is buccal fourth branch is going like here at the margin of mandible so it is called as marginal mandibular branch and fifth branch is going in the neck so it is called as cervical branch while passing during the course the nerve gives good many branches and these are the terminal branches but there are other good many branches the nerve is giving and we will talk about those branches now about the branches as we talked about the terminal branches and there are other branches during the course of facial nerve one is greater petrosal nerve second one is nerve to staphylococcus third one is corda tympani nerve fourth one is your posterior auricular nerve fifth one is nerve to the gastric muscle so these are the branches during the course which is going toward the posterior it is the name of nerve is posterior auricular behind the auricle a small small branch which is going behind the auricle and it is supplying occipito frontalis muscle it supplies occipito frontalis a small muscle now the next one is nerve to the posterior belly of digastric muscle or you can say posterior abdomen of the digastric muscle this nerve supplies the digastric muscle which is the muscle of anterior triangle of neck now the next one is nerve to stylohyoid muscle again the name itself indicate stylo from the stylohyoid process to the hyoid bone it is a muscle that is stylohyoid muscle and it is supplied by the nerve to stylohyoid a nerve that is a curta tympani and this nerve is for the sense of taste this nerve is for the sense of taste from this nerve is for the sense of taste from anterior to third of the tongue hope you enjoyed the video please subscribe the channel for more interesting videos